Hello again. So I'm back with part two of this live stream. So let's see what we'll continue with. So I've started this in part one. I said I'll be talking about future plans with the channel and I didn't actually go into that because there wouldn't earn enough people watching i thought i'd save that for later and um, i think we'll keep this for the last part of the stream so let's see what we did in part one so we've got this contraption going here let's see So as you can see, there's a bit of a problem here when releasing the the balls, but I think that's not really an issue. That shouldn't be really an issue. So uh, maybe, well, let's just try to do something here. Maybe we can round off this edge. So we'll put a cylinder in place. Let's see that. Where, where can we open this? <coughs> so this is the arm release arm. Okay. So let's see here. So as this part that we want to round round off. So let's see. We'll add a cylinder. Let's rotate it like this, 90 degrees, and let's see here, so we've got the scale on the, what's it, uh, it's a scale on the z-axis, that's important, so I'll put this on the z, and uh, actually that's not good, it's because we've rotated it, it's on the x and on the y axis y and x <coughs> so this will use to round off this edge let's see here i think that should be okay right yeah so if we put this here it should round it off it's also scale on the Z, which is on the X of the... No, sorry, it's on the Y. So, this will take the Y axis, and we'll put it on the Z here, and that should be fine. But I think... Using this will actually make it way more so it will have to so we'll have to parent this to the arm but we'll uh, we'll put a really small mass here so we we'll put 0 0.01 because we don't we don't want to affect the the balancing of the arm so let's try again now So that works, but I don't see the cylinder. Mm. That's curious. Let's see again. So arm cylinder, but 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 there is no cylinder. Mm, release arm. Ah, yeah. Okay. So I think I had to compile it. That's the problem. That was the problem. So uh, let's see if this makes it better. Okay, play again. Oh, oh, okay. So <laughs> that's that was the problem. There's your problem. So this should not simulate physics. Let's see. 
So I think this is better, actually. Because we have, yeah, almost. So we have this here because it's not smooth. It's stuck. Uh, the, the balls get stuck here. So one thing we could do is actually the same thing as we did for this one. Put um, cylinder there. But let's try and get this up just a tad. Gravity. Yeah. What are the deals? Hi. 77. Hi. Hello. Welcome to the stream. Uh, yes, exactly. That's the problem. Gravity. So let's see if we, because I've, I've got this higher a bit. So I think, yeah, we, we still got a bit of blocking there. Mm, not sure what to do about that, but that's probably because these balls are actually rotating the wheel, but it's not constant. It's not a constant rotation. So mm, that's probably what happens. Mm, I think we might have to let it go. Just leave it like that. We don't care that much of the flow. Okay, so let's see what we do next. Because this is looking cool, but what do we do next? So we have this. It's filling up this. Uh yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking, but I'm not sure if we get... You know what? <coughs> You're probably lo right. It's Because uh, I've got this here, what... <coughs> <coughs> I've got this uh, actor that generates balls here that fall on the wheel. Now let's let's see this in simulation like that. So as you can see, there's an actor that generates these wheels, uh, these balls. So what we can manipulate this from here. This is the delay. All right, let's see that again. Well, not again because you probably didn't see it because it was in the first part of the stream. So what I do here is actually the event tick. I just spawn an actor from a water droplet actor that I made, just a ball with it just destroyed. Longer orbit comes... Um, ah, yeah, you mean... <coughs> you mean th these right here uh, yeah I've tried that also yeah we could do that <coughs> actually when I set this up <coughs> sorry about that when I set this up um, uh, yeah we could do that but let's just uh, <coughs> increase increase the the, uh, the speed a little bit here <coughs> But I can't increase it too much because when I spawn the balls up here, the droplets, I call them the droplets because, you know, water and water wheel. Uh, when I spawn the droplets, um, as you can see, they might spawn into each other. So, yeah, but let's see. Let's see again. Yeah, so I think it's too fast now. Yeah. So what we'll do, we'll go back to 18 here like that ah, round the edges on them too hmm. so if I round the edges here then it will let go of the arm more smoothly hmm, maybe well, or, or I can add rounded edges on this one so it will probably mean the same thing let's see let's see the arm here so we've got the arm let's Let's duplicate this one and let's just move it here. So, let's see, I think that's okay. So, let's, yeah, so it's basically the same thing what you said. Let's see. Oh, wait, wait. Sorry about that. You know what? This might just do the trick. I think I think you got it with that one. That's cool. Okay, let's try again. So just do it like this. 
Ah, oh, that's cool, man. Ah, well, just a little bit. I think rounded edge it on this one and it should be good. Ah, I see what you mean. Um, yeah, no, I mean, y y uh, this one, the only the wheel I that I've done in Blender, this one I've actually done here. So we can just, we could just uh, modify this real quickly. Let's see. So you can see here, these are just cubes. So if I look, at it's on the x-axis. We'll just put it here, 2.1 maybe. Yeah, or 2.2, let's go, let's, okay. Let's be brave about this, right? So I have increased the both of them. So let's see again. It kind of let yeah, it kind of lets two at, at the time right now. Now, now the only thing I would could do is get them uh, further away, but it kind of I think we get to the same thing. Um, but I think that's fine. We don't need we don't need. I'll show you what are the plans for next thing I'll implement so I think we'll just leave it to you know what let's put it to 2.1 let's see if that works 2.1 here okay let's see about that so we have two the two the first time uh you know what I think this is okay that's it's normal because with this flow we don't act, as you can see this flow is not constant so yeah it's kind of it's normal sometimes there are two bolts that fall at the same time so yeah it's, it's okay by the way these droplets so we call them they just destroy themselves when they reach the ground so that's nice so we don't have a lot of actors in the scene but yeah so what are the plans for next thing I'll implement so I have made this really rough sketch so we have here <coughs> let's see so we have uh, yes yeah, so we have this the rotates we have the arm we have the scale and then what we'll do is actually implement this button right here and then there's a cannon that will shoot balls. <laughs> now, uh, the, there was a user before that in the first part that actually suggested a cool thing. It was called, what was the name? I don't remember his name. Mm. I don't remember his name, but uh, wait, just just a second. Yes, it was it was called old old siren. Yeah. So what he suggested was that the cannon, because I, I was thinking that the cannon uh, be fired at some I don't know brick wall or something, and he actually suggested that the cannon fire the balls back into here and have a funnel in here, and then so this would be a cyclic thing so that's really a cool idea but we'll have to so we'll have to think of a release mechanism for this this uh, container here so when it fills up so now if we play and if we as, as you can see it's unbalanced now but if we let it balance this one will go up right so now it's balanced uh no it's, uh, it's actually unbalanced but it's tipped on the other side so what we would have to do now is actually release these balls in somewhere in a channel or something and then funnel them to the uh, to the to the cannon or actually i was thinking maybe something like a pulling arm or maybe a catapult and then catapult them back here and make a funnel for that and that should that should be cool but frankly 
I have to think about this because it's not easy. Uh, <laughs> so I think we'd have to move this. So when it tips over, then we have to send a signal to the actor. Well, well, we don't need that actually. Wait, so let me see this. So we'll simulate that, right? Does this touch the ground? It does. Okay, so let's do one thing. So let's just increase the base of this a bit. Because I want it to limit, we put a limit on the scale of a limit of movement, a rotation around the axis. So it can not go further than 15 degrees, I think. Yeah. So let's just uh, scale this a bit more. Like that. And so I will take it down a bit. And so that will give it the space it needs to rotate to the full 15 degree that we want it. Let's see. So let's, whoa, okay. So actually we need to move this up and end to put it on the surface. Let's see that again. So as you can see, now it's over the ground. So that's actually almost balanced but there is some uh yeah this is a bit weird but this has to do with the setup of because why was the problem here yeah so it's shaking a bit yeah but let's say i think you know what, but this is not such a big problem. So what we'll do probably here with this bottom, the bottom uh, cube actually, we we'll rotate it. So let's go of the of the balls into a funnel somewhere. So yeah, and then we'll probably. So I'm not sure we can use if we can use the the catapult that I've made. I'm not sure about that because we take well uh, we could use this technically, but uh, yeah. So let's see if this wait. This used to work before. Let's see. Uh, arm uh, base right here. Let's not simulate physics. So let's play again. Wait. Let me see if this works. Yeah, it's too heavy, but it should work, right? Wait, let me try to catapult one object okay let's put this here that's <laughs> that doesn't quite work right um, yeah but I, th I don't think we can adapt or maybe no no we can't we can't adapt this so we'll have to probably add some kind of <coughs> yeah, some kind of cannon here. But I'm not sure how. Let's see that. Let's try to sketch this maybe. Uh, wait. Let's see if we have more space here. Uh, you know what? 
what? Let's just create another one. But let's, you know what? Let's let's forget the sketches. Let's go into business, right? So what we need now is when we play this, right? When this gets full. And this gets full, okay. This will have to push on a button or something. So we make a button. Right, it's too much to the right. Let's see that again. I think that's okay. Okay. So this will have to push a button here so i think we can should we do a physics based button or not i used to have one do i have one do i still have it i don't know uh let me see i used to have one Matter the design man for your ball falling irregular the, the option could be to do something like an old school accumulator. Uh old school accumulator, let me see this. Hey, <laughs> you've actually drawn Ah yeah, you're right. I I know what you're talking about. Okay. I didn't know it was called like that, but yeah, ah, okay. Um, yeah, maybe, yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 I thought, okay. Okay, now, wait. Wait, so this is going up and down. Wait. Well, let me... Okay, so I have this... Ah yeah, okay. So is this is kind that releases power after so after only after so many have has been given. Yeah, I've been given. Yeah, I get what you're saying. So this would be something like a snail thing. Uh, yeah. Uh and then, yeah, maybe, but that, yeah, the thing is it adds another piece here, which is, I don't know uh, if it would be good, but, but it's a cool idea, yeah, but actually what I, what I was looking uh, for, what I was looking at here was this, so what I could do here, as you're right, I could actually make this model. If you if you look here when I wait, let me simulate. So if you look here, uh, they uh, they kind of do that because what I've done is actually have the droplets. What I call the droplets. Wait, what was that? Root uh, Rube Goldberg, right? Yeah. Well, was it Rube Goldberg or Rude Go Well, anyway, so we have a water droplet, the one that dropped from the from the generator. Which, if we look at its of uh, their um, physical material here, we have this. So friction. Wait, that's not good. Friction should be high water droplets yeah that's not good this should be high and so it's um, take the max i think i i've i think i changed the wrong material before yeah so the thing is that what i've done is actually manage the restitution the restitution i put it to zero so they don't bounce they stay on the wheel so here I've overridden this density. Okay, we don't care about that. 
surface type yeah we don't care about this either so i think i don't know why friction wasn't like that but maybe let's try again now so it kind of stay there already right so what would be cool is uh, if i've made something like i put something here on this side and on this side to have like a chamber and made these longer I could do that actually let's I don't know if does it actually matter I don't know if we should waste the time for that because we it's not that important here I would say but you know what I think you were right about this because it as you can see here, because it's not rounded, it just um, jitters. So I think, I think this having a round edge, I think you were right. We'll, I think we'll put here a round wed edge. So we'll add a cylinder. Oh no, not like that but you know what let's just let's just drop this because i think it works fine because i think we're wasting time or on not so interesting stuff so let's just get this out of the way like that i don't know why these cubes f ah yeah they're colliding with okay this so what we need to do now i have a push button here and then have this release the balls into some kind of I don't know we'll see mm, not sure if it will work but and this is yeah okay I am uh, I remember actually these these actually bounce because that's the refresh rate is not high enough <laughs> you want the software to uh, do the drawings uh, it's actually um, this is an open source uh, program it's called uh, Krita and I use a tablet well this is a mouse but I use a tablet with it and I consider it's really really nice um, just Krita search for Krita with a K and uh, you find it, it's open source and really great and you can do also painting with it if that's your thing so yeah really nice uh, by the way if you want to hide the manual or stuff just look into the manual because you can hide them like this like i did there's it's no plugin or something you just hide them i think with the tab no was can't remember if 11 no can't remember the uh the shortcut but yeah okay so <coughs> back to this stuff um not sure how we could do this properly hmm. i think maybe maybe we have to rotate this yeah you're welcome <clears throat> um let's rotate this ninety degrees like that I feel like we're getting too sidetracked here let's try again now yeah that was really nice except you know one yeah well it was working nice uh, well yeah, I think that's okay just one oh 
Come on. Well, <clears throat> that's okay. I, th I think. Uh, well, you know what? Let's let's make the wrong thing here. Like uh, like you said. Let's see. So, cylinder, and we'll see. We'll look at this. How thick is this? Let's see. On the z-axis, we got 0 0.2 or something. Cylinder. So it's gotta be on the y and x so like that and we'll rotate this like that 90 degrees so let's just put it here wait i think i dra i dragged it from the wrong side wait ah yeah it's like that okay so same thing we'll put it on the y axis on the y axis one wait uh, no on the y it's zero so we'll put where I'm looking at the wrong thing so I think it's a y it's not a global but you know what, with I'll bo eyeball it, so I think it should be okay. That's it. So this one, default. Um, default here. Okay, so we've got this one done. A duplicate for the other one. Okay, we'll put it here. That's okay. Duplicate again. Uh, like here. That's fine, and another duplication for this part. I think that's fine. We'll just take them and uh, so we'll make a, them a child of the wheel. So that should be okay. Let's see now. I think that works better, better. right? So, uh, almost. Still, it's not bad. And I think what I wanted to do before is actually make this surface slippery. Because I've done this, but the friction, yeah, that's why, that's why I actually managed the other one. So let's see, friction here, water drop, yeah. So I put the wrong one, so it should be this one. So I've made this this surface slippery so now it should let the balls uh, fall uh, better yeah that looks better let's see that again it's only the first time yeah and I probably know why that's because the balls are accumulated the first time, uh, yeah. Because the water, the water wheel doesn't, it has its inertia from the start, yeah. 
Yeah. But you know what? That's okay. I think it's okay. So, what should we do from now? So I was saying that we could make a cannon that shoots the wolves up again and uh, then we catch them into the funnel here. Mm. Well, not sure why we could do that. Um. Mm. So we'll let them go here and then they they will be shot up that way. Mm. Okay. So I was So I was looking for uh button let's see vp button i think this one was physics based if i remember correctly right let me see no it wasn't No, it wasn't. Okay, let's see. Uh, switch, I think it was called switch. Wait, not here. Here, switch. Yeah, I think you can use the lever that I did a while back. Let's see this. I think we can use this. Yeah. So if we put it here, we will rotate it. And 90 degrees, uh, then we'll put it somewhere over here right let's see like that and then bring it down i think something like that let's see here okay oh maybe something like that let's see So there aren't any balls, that's because we have, they sometimes fall on the ground, that's the problem. This is kind of annoying. So let's see, have these walls, Let, let's make these walls bigger, right? Probably something like that. And this one also. And then we'll get them up a bit. That should be okay. Let's see that again. Uh, thing that would do it. Let's see. Again, closer again. Come on. So it should be a bit closer. Okay. Just to make sure that we catch all the balls. Yeah. And then. Yeah, so the problem is now that the switch is too strong. Let's see that again. Let's see the. So this handle base, we'll look at the handle, handle has, uh, that's because it has 10 kilos. So it, it's opposed, it opposes 
too much force, right? We put it at one kilo, let's see. Okay, so that's okay, but we can lower the force of this. Freedom angle last, okay, let's see. The handle spring, right? Yes, that's because it has this 7,000 here, put out 5,000. That should do it. Hmm. Yeah, that's not enough. Let's get this back here. We'll put this to a thousand, a uh, thousand just to be sure. That should do it. Let's see now. Yeah. So as you can see, it's fully switched now that's good okay let's get rid of this so this one we can now actually connect to a light bulb well, let's see light bulb classic light bulb this one we need a classic one not the modern one okay so we'll just take a look at this if i remember correctly affected actors I'll take, we'll add a new one and then we'll pick this one. So this is one I've done and these two I've actually done in the tutorials. You can find them easily. So let's see if it works. Ah, okay. So it's open in the other direction. So we'll just, you know, we'll just on uh, let's just let's see we'll just rotate this that's just simpler 180 like that and now let's look at this so now it's off let's see so now it's on let's go cool, right Well, let's put this in the middle. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think you can up this a bit and put it to 2000. Just so the it doesn't hang. As you could see, it hangs a bit. Let's see. Now it almost doesn't hang at all with the gravity. As you can see, it stays on. Okay, now let's bring this. Let's bring this here. Mm. So what can we do? So let's see this again from the beginning. Wait, it's this fell on the ground, why? That's not okay. Let's see this again. So now it switches on the light. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. So it works. By the way, we could have we could have uh, connected the water wheel to the light bulb. Would have made a nice effect, like creating electricity. Electricity. I actually wanted to do a tutorial on this. It's just almost so easy that 
doesn't warrant a tutorial, but maybe I'll do one. We'll see. Okay. So... So we've got this. <coughs> we're turning this, we're turning this on. Now we want, so when we turn it on, we want this to release the balls somewhere. That part is tricky. So we have to rotate this. Let's see, we'll have to rotate it. Mm. Let's see this. Um, so we have this one, left bladder. Uh, yeah, that's not great because they make one single object and we want it to be different. So, mm. Mm. how can we do this better? I don't know. We can just ditch this and we need something simpler. We need some kind of trap door here that lets go and it comes back. Uh, but how do we do this? Well, I think we'll have to model this part the upper part and then have the bottom part separate and then rotate that one okay so let's see this let's we're going to blender and make this let me just let me just have a look at something off screen here Okay, so let's let's model this because it's actually easy. Let's see, just launch Blender. So this one is actually really easy. So we'll take we'll just take the base of this cube and 
make it smaller and I think this wait uh, scale how to call this scale platter just call it like that okay so I think I might just uh, wait let's put this yeah, so I think let's put the center, the origin there. Okay. Snap cursor to center and now snap selection to cursor. That's it. Because for the export, we need the object to be in center of the, the blender origin. So let's just export it this way and see. Um, just quickly, if we've done things to scale. So just geometry mesh, that's it. Let's go into here. Wait, I'll copy this. And we'll import it into our folder here. Okay. We don't care about all that stuff. Okay. So let's just drag it. Oh, okay. So I was afraid of that. But it's actually not that big. It's actually, we need it two times smaller, I think. S0.5. Mm, and let's export it again. But I think we can scale this a bit like that so that should be okay but we'll get rid of the upper cap and the bottom one well actually we'll um, split this uh, how was it Split, I think, if I remember correctly. And that's it. Okay. So this one, oh wait. I actually separate this one. And we'll take only this one and we'll say, well, we could leave it like that, but it doesn't have, I mean, we need a thickness to it. So let's just add. A modifier for that which would be solidify so that's let's make this thicker that's it that's that's enough and when we export it export here we'll say what was that add apply modifiers well that should work right and let's re-import it from here so look at that that's the right size I think we will have to replace this one so let's go into the scale we'll take all this junk away but wait that don't think we have a um, collision for this one so let's go into the mesh here let's see if we have collision simple complex uh, we need simple collision for physics to work so let's see collision add auto convex collision that's fine We'll put here something like 15, probably. Mm, 
Mm. That should be okay, right? That's sufficient, right? Okay, I think that's good. So we've done this. Now let's go back to the scale. And the scale here. And let's add this here. Okay. Now let's think about this. So we would want the walls that we just done to be the main part and this one should be mobile. So I think we have to create that one. So we'll add a static mesh here. So let's put this ladder one like this because it's already named that one and we will put it here so let's <coughs> let's add the mesh like this and I will add the same wait wait Oh, okay. I thought my computer was going crazy. So we'll take the same, so location zero, 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 but that's because it's parented to the mesh, right? So wait, location, no, no, that's a rotation. Location is this one minus and uh, zero and zero and it's not actually zero and zero but i'll put it somewhere like this so now we'll just parent these axis blank axis these will parent to the left platter and then we'll see this one is two and this one is no one at all and they are now connected so the physics we've changed the physics constraints to link to this one so this one will be mobile so we'll just rotate it like this and it will fall Our objects will fall right so let's see if they still work we have to parent this one here let's see if they still work right they won't and that's normal because this one should simulate physics and uh, yeah that's it it has too much mass okay it has too much mass that's the problem so let's see here uh, zero point to have one here, one, so one kilo. So let's put one kilo here. <laughs> it was estimated at 200 kilos. That's normal. That it didn't work. So let's see again. actually have to get this closer let's see uh, still it still isn't okay what's this oh well Okay, so that works. That works. Right, hey, Mister. Oh, you have custom collisions on your bucket. Oh, very simple. 
the convex shape yes so yeah I'll show it to you so the thing is uh, well I'll explain this for uh, maybe others that don't know that the com uh, the concave shapes cannot they have one single body collisions so the it's always convex so here uh, let's see again so we'll have this scale platter well I just redo this so redo this so we'll just remove collision so if you look here no collision well a complex collision but this one we won't so this one we won't uh, we can't use for physics because that's um, that's what they they limited this in Unreal and engine I don't know exactly why probably because of performance but so what we do here we go to window and select uh, uh, sorry uh, collision and we go select auto convex collision so what this does is create uh, uh, pieces of convex collisions that approximate the convex concave shape so I put this to 15 we just uh, you have to experiment with this and know that this is not perfect so if you want perfect stuff you just make these all the complex shapes so you cut this up into pieces like the convex pieces like this one so let's just see this so as you can see it's not perfect but it's good enough I'd say yeah so we just use this one because we could have done collision in blender and imported it if I think you should use what was uh, ucx underscore something with some name as the mesh something like that and that's the collision but I think this one works in our in our situation but if you go here if you want a perfect uh, convex collision you would cut this up right so you go here you select all these wait wait oh, come on what was let's say edge okay why doesn't it ah yeah because it's a modifier okay I forgot I have a modifier but you select all of these and this is makes a complex shape so you make that one as a hull and all the other ones as a hull uh, so it's like pieces right they go together and then you would have perfect collision for this shape but usually you won't have perfect collision for most of the shapes because well you would use too many uh, too many vertices but you could eventually do well you could do that but yeah so in our case here that works so this is it you, know, you just push collision auto convex collision and set your settings here and I try to get it play with this and try to get as close as possible so okay so <coughs> okay bucket I think you got a good word for this because I didn't know yeah <laughs> uh, okay so um, so we got this so now what we would do is have this when this is triggered we would have the trapdoor or this one open and let the balls fall somewhere here and then we'll funnel them uh, I don't know exactly how we would do this but mm. let me think about this so we could actually have the bottom part shaped especially so it, it channels the balls outward I think we're getting too complicated here um, we could just we could just we could simply we could simply destroy these balls right here and have them shoot up you know what let's just 
have them shoot up again here. So I think we can use this here also to funnel the balls back in. Let's see. I think this is uh, some universal thing. <laughs> universal funnel. Let's see. Yeah, I think I think that should work. So let's make this smaller, but not like that. Wait, wait. We'll just make it smaller on the horizontal axis. Hope it. Wait. That's not what I wanted. Well, I have to sacrifice something, right? So, um, yeah, let's just kill the whole thing. Okay, so we have this, right? So if we put Let's see if I grab the balls from here. I just put a few just to make sure that they can um, they get funneled. Maybe something like that. We'll see. Yeah, that works fine. So let's see that again here. Yeah, so this one is too outside, I would say. Let's simulate and see what happens. That's cool. I think that's okay. Well, these get stuck, but for that, we can actually use the the slippery surface so let's see again so we can use the slippery surface for this Let's see, I go here to physics material, just drag in our slippery surface, surface, and I think if we play now, they won't get stuck anymore, right? That's it, cool. But I don't know why this, ah uh, yeah, I don't know why this, uh, I think it's like this. That's it, okay, so let's see again. That's good. So that's cool. So this wobbles because it's all these physics constraints together that actually they are not perfectly calibrated because it's a mass it's usually the mass that use uh, that makes uh, has a problem but yeah let's see how we can do this funnel so let me see uh, so actually we said that we'll do the cannon so let's do the cannon first you know well the cannon we'll just we'll just do some symbolic cannon right uh, let's see cannon right and here we'll just do a surface 
and an area and uh, we'll add an arrow for the direction of the where the object will be thrown so let's add a cube for that we'll make a platform right uh, platform Wait, well, that's because it's too big. Okay, so we'll put this to 0 0.5, I think. Oh, no, no, let's put this to 0 0.4. And this, and on the z-axis, we'll just put 0 0.05. It's very not thick, very not thick. Yeah, I think 5 was okay. Okay. And now we'll add oh it's a box collision. So we can detect so we can detect detect the, the object that fall into it. So box collision but not as a child. Box collision. So So we'll put this at 0 0.4 also. And this will lead to 0 0.5, I think. Wait, it was 0 0.5? Okay. Okay. Was it more? 0 0.4. I don't understand. Ah, yeah, that's because this is... Uh, I'm not actually doing this correctly. The size should be 1 here. And I should be using these, the box extends. So now the box was... Let's see, we have this 0 0.4, that means 40 centimeters. And the box extends go to the left and to the right. So we'll put 20. And that should be... Okay, that's good. We'll put this up like that. And now we've got a s uh, volume where if we detect the balls, we can shoot them. Now, let's see in what direction we shoot them. So uh, we'll put uh, an arrow here. Okay. And let's, well, we'll just rotate that. Uh, let's bring it up and shoot them upwards. Now let's see, how can we control the movement? So let's just detect the objects that overlap and we'll see about that afterwards. So let's see, from the box here, uh, wait, we'll put on component, begin overlap, end overlap, no, we'll use begin overlap with this one. So when we begin overlap, have to throw throw the component so we'll say the other actor let's say add force wait that wasn't add a comp other component add force right and here we'll add force well we'll consider we consider this uh, direction, but applied into the center of the object. So, let's see here. I will take the arrow and get 
the uh, get what was the forward vector for the error is actually the vector in which the arrow points uh, okay and this get forward vector and I think we can do this simply because mm, yeah so the force <coughs> wait so we'll have to multiply that with the float which is gonna be the force so let's add a variable for that <coughs> forces in UE4 are really big need to be really big that's because they are um, uh, mm, UE4 uses centimeters and not meters so you, you practically add the same force but like times 100 and I th maybe double that yeah but that's that's why so let's say force we'll put uh, let's compile that I will put force to let's say 100,000 wait I think I lost put too many zeros in mm. so let's see let's add this here cannon well wow, that's a very whoa that's small but we don't care actually <coughs> let's duplicate this let's see if I uh, this is actually above the ground so let's put it in the ground almost that's like that uh, and let's bring this ball here just to test with so uh, whoa I think I grabbed that so if I leave this here I think it actually got pushed away but wait no let me just put this like that and I think we'll see that the force is 500,000 because it's not enough that's not right so we need I think we have a problem here uh, so wait. come on I grab this Uh, yeah, that's because our ball doesn't generate overlap events. That's probably it. Let's see, generate overlap events, that's it. So let's try again now. Whoa. So apparently 500,000 is too much. Let's try again. And you know what? Let's yeah, okay. Come on. Yeah. So it's probably two hundred thousand something. But you know what? We'll just uh, we'll do something cooler. Well let's add a vector and we'll point this arrow toward the vector 
and we'll manipulate the vector from the editor so let's add here we'll say direction like that and we'll put this as a vector uh, where was that okay so make this visible the, the other one also and we'll actually activate 3d widget for this one so let's put it somewhere by default to z um, 100 that means it's a, a meter high uh, wait yeah so I think it has yeah it has to be and it will have to be Oh, they should work actually because it's yeah yeah okay so that's it this is it okay so we'll just point the arrow toward this and we'll move this and this will move the arrow it will be really easy to um, direct the ball when it's thrown so let's see I've got this, so we'll, we'll actually do this on um, in the construction script. We'll just say arrow and look at, I think. Wait. Mm. Hmm. Look at, find, look at rotation, uh, start and target. So the start will leave at none, that's because it's the origin of our actor and the target will put to this yet uh, like that and we'll have a rotation and we'll set the arrow uh, rotation set relative load uh, yeah I think it's relative set rotation like that uh, wait what's the pin uh, start myself well, I'll just I'll just make make because it's we need zero 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 right so does this work yes it does so as you can see the arrow now points to our to our um, uh, widget as you could say right let's see so we can just change the direction how we want so let's just do maybe uh, yeah let's try this So <coughs> we would actually want to uh, stop the ball from moving before doing this. So here, uh, because then it will keep its uh, inertia, right? So other component will say set uh, velocity set physics linear velocity like this and I will add the force so we'll set this to zero 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 that's it and let's try again wait that's good so that means so that means we'll have uh, that means we'll have will push the ball right back into the funnel like that there right so let's see that actually starts working quite as we want it to right so let's put this here we'll put this on the same we'll put this on the same line as this one 
and this wall will be so let's just so we just make use the widget that we make to uh, point the arrow right this one we'll point it like this that's it very easy to use so now let's try again uh, alt p okay and we'll put this here so that's really nice that's really nice it's starting to work so let's just adjust this a bit oh that's so close that is starting to become awesome let's put this give it a bit of a parabola let's grab this uh, not quite so I think we'll have to so I think we'll have to put this wait let's see let's go into the top perspective and we'll look where we have this yeah let's put this on the same line as the funnel like that then let's go back into the perspective let's bring actually this and perspective again and then we'll put this up Drag this up a bit. So as you can see, it's really close to what we want it to, because we want. Let's see. That's really close. But it does have a problem. It's not pointing in the right direction. So let's see here we want it to point directly like that not to the left and not to the right so uh, let's look at the direction well actually it's this way here uh, well we could uh, just reset it right uh, just compile with that Compile again. So I think we reset it, right? I can't see it. Mm, that's weird. Come on, let's. Where is it? So it should be here. I don't understand. direction z it's just where is it hmm that's weird i don't understand should be here let's see ah yeah okay three the widget okay sorry about that so we have to move it like this uh, so close oh come on it's so close so I think we'll just up up the force a bit Let's look at this uh, force uh, 200,000, 200, maybe, if that makes a difference. Well, apparently it's. Hmm. Let's see. Mm. 
it's thrown differently which I don't like so new velocity that's good so we reset the velocity so what's the problem mm. let's see this again okay so let's put force at 210 thousand whoa okay so got a zero in there that shouldn't be there that's so close So this is troubling because we've got different speeds and I don't know why. Oh come on, so yeah, that's cool. So let's see again. Yeah, so this is really yeah. I think it doesn't set the speed right here. So let's see. Velocity. Set physics linear velocity, set all physics, uh, set the linear velocity, all body of this component, but maybe that, but I don't see, it only has one mesh, so I don't see the problem. Okay. Zero. We could use set speed here instead of add force maybe it will make a difference if i remember correctly and the uh, the force gets added right so begin overlap yeah i don't see but we could use so we could use just simply set our velocity, set the speed. Uh, we'll just take this and then this and we'll set the speed with that. So say here and we'll just rename this speed. Uh, what was launch speed? So speed it's in centimeters uh, per second squared. Let's put ten thousand. I think that's too much, but yep. So uh, not per second squared. It's per second centimeters per second. That's two liter. So I will put this to one thousand. Okay, then it will be two thousand probably. Too much. One thousand five hundred. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, so close. So it, it would be, be 400 maybe. Ah, it's in the middle, 450. Ah, oh, so close, man. Yes, now I want to I want to make this one. Let's see. So this is a droplet generator. It just does this, very simple. We actually want it to generate balls so I can test the cannon. So, oh wait. 
We'll just duplicate this. Let's duplicate it. Where was that? Uh, droplet generator. Okay. Uh, duplicate that. So we'll put a ball generator. So in here we'll just put the ball. We could have actually used this one. So yeah, we don't need a spawn actor. What a what a droplet. Well, actually, you know what? We'll just use this one. So we'll say object generator, actually. You know what? Yeah, that's the best idea. So we'll just make that be usable anywhere. So instead of what what water droplet, we'll say object generator. And here we'll put an input for the mesh, uh, for the actor. Uh, act uh, generated actor like that. And then wait. So we need a class. So we'll say actor class. Wait, why doesn't it work? Actor. Actor, actor, class reference. And then we'll plug this in here, right? And we'll make this visible. So here for this one, we'll just put droplet because it was droplet before. And we'll use the same object here that we generate balls with it. Okay, like that. So we'll just put there and we'll select, uh, well, well, uh, we'll just have to make an actor for the ball also yeah All right, let's see if this works yeah so this works as before that's good but we need an actor for the ball so let's take this one well i'll just create another actor Uh, goal. So we'll add a sphere here. That so we'll add a sphere that what does it do? It's zero three hundred seventy five uh, scale, and that's it, I think. Yeah, we can leave other stuff like it was before, and we'll just select here uh, the ball, a ball. That's it, and that should work. But it doesn't. Why? Because it's not similar to physics. Let's see. Sphere, similar to physics. Uh, let's try again. Yeah, too much. This one will just put one per second. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. That's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> Actually, we need, I think, more. So as you can see, we had that. Let's see, delay 0 0.8. So by lowering the delay, we 
we generate more balls <laughs> that's funny so that's quite something right <laughs> these ball from here actually get thrown away <laughs> got too many <laughs> That's cool. But uh, what can we do now? Check something here off screen. Okay, so that's okay, but the problem is this, that the balls from here are too heavy, so yeah, what can we do here? sure about that Okay, so let's see this, what can we do here? So I was thinking maybe we can funnel the balls to this right here, uh, but with, uh, but, but, but how can we do that? I 
I cannot find a logical way to do this. Mm -hmm. So if we have this drop and let the boss Okay, let's make a funnel uh, a channel actually from there. So from here we'll make something. Let's just take that, separate it like that, and then extrude it wait doesn't work we we'll go in and extrude it on the y i see oh yeah that's because yes yeah, that's normal that because i forgot about the solidifier so let's take this and extrude that also uh, 0.23 wait that should be okay right and extrude this zero point three zero point three that's not enough that should be okay <coughs> so let's eyeball the length that we need I probably need more Mm, what is that? Wait. Mm, something like that. But that would mean that it will take too many. Uh, so let's scale this a bit down like that. Yeah, that should. Uh, which this should do is funnel them so it only gets one at a time here so I think that should be okay maybe mm, we'll see so let's see here we've got this uh, let's just export this <coughs> uh, <coughs> So we'll snap it to center. Wait, not like that. Snap it to the center. Wait, so it actually has the center there. You know what? We just don't care. So let's export it simply. So that's uh, channel. Let's call it channel. So make sure we get this here apply modifiers right so let's export it like that and let's go into the scene so let's play again this so what we need here we already have this working we need a channel from here to here okay because this is already working yeah so then then we need to open this box right here and let the balls fly off like they do right now so let's see so let's bring in this funnel uh where was that so we'll take this from here and let's import it Uh, that's actually here channel or funnel however we want 
and let's generate collision for it we need that we'll use auto convex collision because it's very simple mm, let's bump this higher don't really care it's a small scene so should be okay so as you can see it's quite it's quite effective it's actually really close to the object itself so that's good so let's drop this in here, rotate it a bit. That's 180 degrees like that. Uh, let's see. So it should be something like this. Okay, and then oh, let's take the X from here and put it to this one so it's aligned. So they should right here and but they have to be close here so open sorry mm, okay So let's see this again. So I think that's okay, but we should, yeah, we should rotate this. Okay, so let's just see. That looks awesome, but we need to have something to stop them and maybe they should bounce less. So let's see this. Let's go to the ball. Oh, we need another. Uh, we need another physical material for that. You know what? I think we can manage without it so let's put let's put this closer actually wait we can't put it closer because then we change that so then we have to put this get this make this bigger uh, so let's export it again, export, channel, export again, and then re-import it here, where was it, this one, mm, that's good, that's good, let's, let's play again and see what happens. have some balls that actually pass through it I can't I don't understand I think there are too many and okay let's see this we have to let's see box just to scale this down or we'll scale this down on the Z we'll put five maybe no Ten. That should be okay. So let's see if this one gets launched. It should, but there are too many here and I don't think it will. Ah, yeah, they do get launched. Okay. 
That's good. Okay. That's cool. So let's see. Uh, okay. So we'll have to put this higher like that and rotate it. <coughs> like this. Yeah, I think so. And then, but we don't want this to intersect here so we would move this up maybe yeah no this is too much it's rotated too much i think that should be okay let's see that's okay let's see this again so if I yeah so let's see if we have this uh, that's okay that's okay So now it's at this level, so we could release the boss from here. But it should be even higher. Now let's get this even higher. Mm, get this here, like that. Let's try again now. Of course. Uh, that's too high actually. Well, let's we get this up, everything up. It's too much. You know what? Let's just drop it like this. I think that's better. This is down here. You know what? I think we might make it with with one. Okay. So let's see. So we need to open this one when the light turns on. So if I remember correctly, we have to implement an interface f as the one from the light bulb. Light bulb here, event use, okay. Set. So let's see. So let's see. Uh, take. So uh, let's go into the scale. And here, an event graph, which is, uh, we'll have to implement the interface. So let's see this again. 
Let's see this whole contraption again. So when this reaches here, we want to let go of the ball so they come here and then make the circle. Uh, yeah. So we need this trap to open, this to, to open. Let's see again. So if we go to the scale and we'll implement the interface, the use interface. So the class settings here, we'll add, uh, sorry about that, not this one, the interface. We'll add use, I use, this is the interface. Let's compile then. We'll add the event use here. So this is, so when this gets triggered, uh, we'll have to add also another one here. It will be, it will actually point to this one back. So let's put the here, we'll take the scale. So it will also notify the scale when it gets pushed, right? So in the scale, we'll say, so we have to get the left platter, this one, to rotate. But the problem is that this one is not... So we'll rotate it like this, clockwise, right? I think clockwise. Yeah. So let's rotate it clockwise. Uh, we'll take left bladder. So we'll say move component 2. Like that. So we'll just say target relative rotation on, let's see, 25 on the, on the X axis. Let's see, events, so on the X axis, we'll put 25 and we'll put this in time of one second, let's see, although it's too much, I would say half a second. So let's try it to see if this actually happens. Let's see. Whoa, I grabbed, whoa. Okay, that's weird. That's weird. Uh, okay, so let's launch this again. I think I have spawned some objects that I didn't clean out afterwards, I think. Did I? Because I destroyed them, so maybe there were too many balls in the scene. I can't. I can't tell. Is this still working? I think so. Yeah. Restore. No, that's okay. So let's go back. Now, where was that? Rube Goldberg. Okay, come on. Let's see how we can do this. So, was this? Let's see that again. So, that's, yeah, okay. Wait, whoa. That's already rotated. That's not good. If 
First of all, it doesn't let the balls out. That's not good. And then... Uh, well, it's already like that. So... What? Uh, what was that? Because use we have here, so it notifies. Uh, but... It come back freedom angle. Okay. So why do we get notified all of uh, first? We get notified first. Why? Because uh, wait. Hmm. <coughs> you know what, I think we'll just do this more easily. We can check the rotation of the scale, the angle with the surface and use that. Maybe. Um, the problem is that this has to be lower. Uh, let's see, left bladder like that. This uh, actually has to be lower but higher, so... Mm. Let's get this up a bit and then let's get this down. Too much. Yeah, this is some contraption we've got here, which I don't like, but... So let's see... What you've got here... That should be okay. So it's not enough, actually. Has to be down lower. Oh, the balls are really big. So wait. Rotate. It snaps and then rotates. But, but, but no. We should uh, target a relative location. We should get that. So we'll take this, get relative location, right? And we'll, yeah, that should be better, right? So now it rotates and let's see. Uh, almost, almost. Let's see that again here. We'll just put this up a bit and then this down a bit. So let's try this again. Let's see. Nice. But that's not what we want, so let's disable this, delay, well we can't disable it, but we can remove it, mm, so we'll remove it for now, come on. So let's see this. Uh, 
not so close. Uh, come on. <coughs> okay, so we need this funnel to be, I think, higher, maybe. Wait. like that maybe wait yeah that's because that is because they don't uh, trigger they don't trigger the overlap event so mm. Just take them one by one. Overlap. Generate. And then we'll move this out of the way. And uh, let's just select these all at once. And then overlap. Generate. Let's put this back here so that they don't fall over. Let's try again. Oh, that's nice. Okay, that's nice. that they stop here they cannot go up more okay let's see <coughs> I'll try to pull this from here, yeah. So as you can see, there's a problem there. So if not, this works nice. <laughs> They're all lined up. Okay, so I think we need to get this up. Uh, mm. So we've got this here, I think we should uh, put this up like that and this one down a bit let's try this again so yeah kind of works 
but that's not what I wanted it to do but I think it's getting late and I think we'll leave it to here because you know what it's yeah it's already nice we've got our cannon what we call it cannon right and this is nice so we I think we'll leave it to here to this I've um, so the we've actually reached I've actually reached 1000 subscribers in the meantime on the channel so thanks a lot everybody for it's 1001 so thanks a lot for the support and I said I've I will talk about the future plans of, for the channel but I haven't actually managed to I was waiting for um, more people to join in but yeah it didn't actually happen so we'll I will make a video on this and post it um, a video update and post it on your YouTube and I'll also make a tutorial for this for the scale probably this is very easy and should be very useful for anyone that wants to implement it so yeah this is it's kind of it so it doesn't work quite as it should oh hi you like the workshop <laughs> I'm glad to see you join in but it, it's kind of at the end but uh, thanks for uh, coming to the live stream um, as you can see what I've <laughs> yeah thanks <laughs> This is what I managed to do today and it's kind of buggy but it you know and you know what let's just let's just one second I'll take this bit down I think this this is the only way we could actually fix it if we take the ground and this a bit down um, like this I will take this down and this I think it should work like that so yeah the idea is that this will recharge itself but as you can see yeah it's still buggy because uh, and this should open once in a while not stay open should actually open when this goes here so if I don't use let's see so if I don't turn this uh, here uh, wait yeah so let's just I'm gonna show you what happens if I don't use that so they just accumulate and then they just turn on the switch wait they should yeah there's this edge here let's see I think that should be okay let's see that again mm, of course this has to be lower like that let's put this here so the light bulb should actually turn on so yeah so the idea here would be <laughs> when I'm going to stream this time well last time I'd said that the day after I would stream and I didn't manage because I had I was really busy 
I don't know, maybe I'll try tomorrow, I'm not sure, but I have stuff to do tomorrow also, but yeah, if not, I'll leave the stream and I'll also upload it to YouTube if you wanna watch it afterwards. Uh, I I can't make any promises because apparently if I do, then I won't keep them, so we'll, we'll see, we'll see. But yeah, so I was saying that so when this gets triggered because i have this here that uh, turns on the light bulb so the, when this gets triggered should also let go of the balls and come here and then try to uh, throw them again in the funnel here so <laughs> thanks thanks um yeah so I think we'll leave it here now because it's been, I mean, again for like two or three hours. So, um, yeah, as I was saying, I would wanted to talk about future plans for the channel, but I didn't manage to do that. And But I, I will do a video on that. So, um, yeah, I'll also make a video as I was saying on this uh, on this uh, scale which is really nice it actually works as a scale as you can see um, and see it's actually really easy to do and really fun yeah so it's kind of like the seesaw but you just have to uh, hold the platters horizontal so I'll probably do a tutorial on that but yeah I think this is it for for today and uh, well I'll see you in the next stream I don't know when it will be because I have I'm kind of busy in this uh, this week and maybe the next but I'll try to stream as as soon as possible yeah so thanks a lot, uh, Light Tech Workshop. Thanks a lot for joining, and I hope to see you next time, right? And uh, yeah, if you like this and you want to see how I did it, uh, just look at the the live stream on Twitch. And uh, if not, I'll also upload it to to YouTube later. Okay, thanks a lot again, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.